Hello everyone, I'm Ms. K. Pavitra. I'm working in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I'm discussing about one of the most important topic in English literature and I'm sure that is a well lot of energy and lot of understanding the wider area of English literature. And all of the students who are related with the English literature and my topic is we to deal guide you something about history of English language. Let me explain what is the important of language. Already you know very well language is not a matter, it's a medium of communication which we throw out our emotion and ideas is also described about language. I think you can understand. The first unit, first topic is general character of English. The second topic is the Indo-European family of language. The third topic the in the German family. The fourth topic English in the Germanic family. These are the topics in unit 1. Let me explain general character of English. Um, I think you can understand English is an international language. If we go to any other countries or any other placement, any other companies, they are asking only for the English language because English is an official language. English is the most widely spoken and written language of the world. Today, English occupies the prestigious place of international language. The following paragraph is very important. Modern English is receptive in the sense it receives a number of words from other languages. In fact, that it has adopted words from other languages like a Latin, Greek, French, German, etc. And especially I mentioned there is no, no fixed rules to keep the language is permanent and stable. So that is very important. And next point is simplicity of inflection. So simplicity. Okay, inflection means the extra letter that are added to the uh, form of word in order to create a new verse. So, new verse, day to day life, uh, new verse is increasing, always increasing. So, new verse is very important. And next, fixed word. Uh, fixed word is a, a word order. A fixed word is a word order. I think you can understand grammar. So, unless we master grammar, do not speak and write effectively. That is very important. If you choose uh, any, any, any grammar, also available some rules and regulation i think if you choose uh, active words and passive words some rules and regulations also available if you choose sentence pattern that is one of the rules and regulations also available okay clearly and convey the sentence pattern svo my father is a subject and next the subject comes at the end uh, at the beginning verb comes the next followed by the object my father is the first one subject second one what are the action for doing for that my father uh, next what is the action that is called for the verb my father gave so my father gave so uh, what gave a uh, yeah, pen okay the pen is your object first one subject and second one my father gave a yeah, pen that is one of the um, rules and regulations of sentence pattern i think you can understand for that and next um, next topic is indo european european language um, yeah, a group of language which have some common characters among them is called a, fa a family of language. There are many families of language. For example, um, Greek family, Latin family, Indian family, Iranian family, American family, Germanic family. Germanic family is also divided to the three types. Eastern Germanic, Northern Germanic, Western Germanic. Especially Western Germanic is divided to the two types. One, one, first one is uh, Old High Germanic. Second one is uh, old low german um, so actually so many uh, families is also available among especially mentioned indo-european family is a prominent family the earliest period of english is anglo-saxon period it is replaced with the old english i think you know very well old english period is 450 to 1100 that is the period period of old english the term the term old english is uh, founded in the um, I think what I am telling old English then after come to the middle English then after modern English and new modern English okay and the next topic is the Ger German family the Germanic language are branches of the Indo-European language family spoken natively by population of about 515 million peoples mainly in Europe uh, 515 million peoples mainly in Europe and North America and South Africa so many places they are occupied for that and uh, this is not a normal uh, actually the first unit is also covered to the important of English Indo-European family and German, German, German family in Germanic importance of Germanic life so some many important 
important points is also available and i think you can understand uh, for the first unit and thank you thank you so much for giving this wonderful opportunity